Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gaming here. I just want to talk a little bit about Computex 2017. Now, both AMD and Nvidia have released all their information in regards to their upcoming products on the show. I want to focus in particular on AMD because their presentation was, I would say, a bit more anticipated due to the pending launch of RX Vega and the Frontier Edition graphics cards. Unfortunately, um, cards were not launched at Computex as many of us would have hoped, but. Um, you know, their, their president and chief executive officer, Dr. Lisa Su, did not leave us with empty hands in that regard. She did make us aware that the Frontier Edition should come out at the end of June and the RX Vega card should be released at the end of July. Whether that's a hard launch is yet to be seen, but I'm not going to talk too much about that. Uh, what I would like to talk about is um, what she showed us. So she did show us um, some information about their new CPU Threadripper, which is their 16 core 32 thread beast um, CPU which is actually now rumored to be releasing for a staggering, staggeringly low, should I say, $849. This is a rumor at this time, but if they are able to do this, then it is pretty much RIP Intel in terms of high-end CPUs. There's just no way they can compete at that price point. Anyway, moving forward, they did also um, show off some Prey gameplay at 4K at maximum settings, which is very high. She did actually say ultra settings, but that's just a slight mistake on her part. Now, the interesting part was they were using two RX Vega cards in Crossfire to show off 4K performance. Unfortunately, there was no um, performance or FPS monitoring statistic to show us the actual in-game performance, but the point of showing Crossfire apparently was to show that Fred Ripper could run both of these cards at full bandwidth which was a little counterproductive without the performance monitoring statistics but hey we can't have everything the way we want it but anyway I'm just gonna let you guys listen and see the presentation now and after that I'll show you the same scene with my Nvidia GTX 1080 Ti just to kind of give you an idea of what the current top end um, available hardware can do at this time so with the Radeon Vega Frontier Edition what we said is it will be the first to launch and I'm proud to tell you today that it will be available in market starting June 27th, just in a couple of weeks. So the feedback on this has been tremendous. There's a lot of excitement around what we can do with Vega. And as we pair Vega with Ryzen and Ryzen Threadripper, there are lots and lots of opportunities. Now, the last demo I want to show you is one around gaming. And there are a lot of gamings, uh, gamers in this world, as uh, Derek said earlier, and they're all enthusiastically waiting for Radeon RX Vega. And we love gamers as part of AMD. And what we wanted to show you today is, again, Threadripper running with the dual Radeon RX Vega that looks really, really gorgeous. So Omar, can we run this demo, please? And what we're doing here is we're playing the new Bethesda title, Prey, on ultra settings at 4K resolution. So this is Ryzen Threadripper, so 16 cores, 32 threads, feeding two RX Radeon Vega GPUs. And we're going to let Omar go a little bit through a few scenes, right, Omar? <laughs> But what you see is, again, beautiful game performance at 4K in ultra high settings with the Threadripper and two Radeon Vega GPUs. And our message is that for the true enthusiast class performance capability, um, this combination will be an incredible combination available with Threadripper and Vega. So again, thank you very much, Omar. So as you can see guys, this is the exact same part of the demo. So you can see Cargo Bay B just above them with all the clutch of crew members just about to fight off this onslaught. So the settings I'm using is a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Um, the preset is set to very high, V-Sync is disabled. Uh, so jumping into advanced settings now, as you can see everything's at very high. Anastropic filtering is at 16 times. Anti-aliasing is set to SMAA2TX, which is part of the very high preset. The, the field of view is set to 100, but um, default it would be at 86, but this is more of a personal preference to me, and from what I've seen, it doesn't really affect gaming performance. 
So anyway, let's get underway. All um, statistics are in the top left hand corner. I'm just about to open the cargo bay B door and things are going to kick off. So just keep an eye on the frame rate counter. Right now we're between 60 and uh, mid 50. So it's a quite a demanding part of the game. And um, a single GTX 1080 Ti is holding around 50 to 55 frames per second at this point in time. Bear in mind I'm losing around 3 frames per second due to recording with Shadowplay but apart from that, um, you know, GTX 1080 Ti on its own doing a fairly decent job so it will be interesting to see how a single RX Vega car does on Prey at 4K with very high settings once it's available and we can test that independently but apart from that, um, hopefully this clears up any kind of speculation for those who are wondering. Um, the game obviously does fluctuate with FPS depending on where you are in the game quite significantly. So if I walk out here you can see frames per second jumping from 50 all the way up into the high 70s other parts of the game. You can even see an excess of 90 frames per second with a single GTX 1080 Ti. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully you may have found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.